now have scholarly studies that have been done of oral cultures, and we know that through several generations, oral tradition can be preserved and passed on without changing a thing. Even though I became convinced that ancient cultures could pass along oral tradition reliably over time, I still had an obvious objection to the New Testament, and that was, isn't it really filled with contradictions? One of the issues people often raise is the question of apparent contradictions between the Synoptic Gospels, where there's a parallel story. For example, uh, Matthew tells the story of two blind men being healed, whereas in Mark's account, there's only one blind man. How can we get this contradiction? The vast majority of these apparent contradictions, however, are quite easily resolved. Uh, Mark describes only one of the two uh, blind men, the one who is most prominent, obviously, or perhaps even the one who became a disciple of Jesus and became prominent in the later church. So most of these apparent contradictions are, are quite easily resolved. Had every single account given us exactly the same detail, we might have accused them of some form of collusion, of having gotten together and carefully planned out how they were always going to tell the story with the exact number of details, but then one doesn't have independent